What they want the students to do is attach fishing line to one end of their pegboard, stretch it across the pegboard to this loop, and then they can twist this loop to actually affect the tension on the string. I found the students had difficulty doing this. When they would tie the string to one end of the pegboard, as they would pluck it, frequently the knots would come undone. To solve this, I pre-measured and pre-tied the fishing line so there are two overhand knot loops on either end of the fishing line. Then the students could easily assemble the board by flattening the loop and placing it through the board. Once this loop was through the board, they could easily flatten the other loop and put it through the first loop. When they pull this through, they have attached their fishing line to one end of the board and it does not come off. Once the students have their string attached to one end of the pegboard, it's easy for them to then take their string across the pegboard to attach to the bolt at the other end. Before attaching the bolt to the pegboard, the students must take this loop and attach it to the bolt. We found when they did this that there was a slit on one end of the bolt. The wire that makes the bolt comes all the way around and there's a little crevice that allows the fishing line to slip out and come loose. To solve this problem, I used Elmer's glue. I put one drop of Elmer's glue at the joint on each bolt. When it dried, it made an enclosed circle that the fishing line could not escape from. To attach the fishing line loop to the bolt, I again instructed the students to squish the loop flat, put it all the way through the bolt, and then to place the bolt through the loop. Once that's complete and they pull it tight, the fishing line is attached and will not come off. At that point, they are ready to attach their bolt to the pegboard. Once they start to tighten the bolt, they can take up all the tension on their fishing line.